Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is a shop my stash, get ready with me, little chit chat, some of this, some of that. We're using some new products, some old products, we mix in some products. We're just playing in makeup how we normally do over here on this channel. So if you want to see how I got this look, the products I use, what I think about these products, if they work for me, am I going to put them back in the stash or I'm going to leave them out, make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I have been shopping my stash again. I just got some items that I've been shopping with. I'm my stash in my little bag here. And yeah, let's get to playing some old, some new. Yeah, I know how I do, but most of it is probably new that I haven't played with. First off, it's a primer that I picked up a couple of weeks ago from Ulta. And it's the Flower Beauty. I picked up two. It's the Skin Smoothie Primer. I picked up one in the matte version and one in the Hydro Grip version. <laughs> they were like $12.99. So let's go ahead. Which one should I try today? I'm going to try the matte one and see. It smooths, blurs, helps absorb oil. Y'all know I'm going to probably end up trying both of them. But it's a creamy consistency. Let's see. Feels like a lotion. Let's see. If I instantly get back. It feels really good. I know I love a good primer though. I did not instantly get matte. Well, not like dry matte. It smells good. It smells like a fruity candy. I'm matte, but I'm not like dry matte. So y'all know I'm going to mix the Hydro one with it. Just a drop. Only because I want to see. Since we're playing a product, we might as well play, play. Now this one is the silicone light. This is supposed to make your foundation stick. It feels really good. Let me blend out this concealer underneath my eye. Yeah, I was cleaning up. I said, okay, time to shop my stash. Let's bring in some new makeup and see what we're able to come up with. What look? Today is Friday, so it's a work day. And I still got to get ready for work and do my makeup, so why not play in some new products? I'm going to use my peachy. Matte paint pot, sort of new but not new. Y'all seen me use it before. Smile lines. I had an allergic reaction to something. It's clearing up now. It's not as uh, irritated as it was. So it's clearing up now. Thank goodness. I don't mind the breakout part, but the irritation part, with me trying not to scratch my face, I don't know what I ate. I don't. I don't know. Okay. What's next? Eyes. I got this. I'm gonna do two primers today. This Essence Prime Like a Boss Eyeshadow Base. Intensifying, long lasting, no creasing. Let's see. Mm. 
Feels like a lotion. I haven't used a primer like this in years, probably since the Urban Decay version. You got to see. It's not dry either. And I also have the No Budge Cream Eyeshadow from e.l.f. and Wildflower. And it's a lilac, kind of like purple shade. That's what I'm going to put down today. That's my face. See how purple it come up. Coming up purple. I thought it would be like coming up white. And I'm trying to stay like right on my eyelid area not deviating too much from that spot. They say no fudge, so I think when it's down, it's down. Do y'all try new makeup when you're going to work or only when you're not going anywhere? I had someone ask me in one of my videos that I had a colorful look. I was like, do you wear that to work? Yeah. I didn't know. Like, it wasn't such thing as you had to look a certain way when going to work. I think as long as you're, um, you're clean and your clothes are tidy and you put forth an effort, like, I didn't know that, like, colorful makeup was not accepted in the workplace, like, hmm. Where could you work at in 2023 that would frown upon makeup, hair, anything, really? It looks like nobody don't want to work to begin with. Everybody is still hiring out there. Nobody is wanting to work. I'm like, dog, all these places hiring? Do people not need jobs? It's tacky. I'm gonna take this Cancer, Tender Loving Cancer ColourPop palette. And it's purple base, as you can see the back of it. And I'm gonna take this, it's kind of deep brown purple and put that in my outer V. Let's see. I never use this. I think at one point I have brought all of the Zodiac signs from them. <laughs> like what, girl? The uh, e.l.f. thing is a eyeshadow, right? But you can use it as a base if you want to. Or you could just wear it alone. It's pretty. I threw some stuff away that was out of date. I tried to organize. I had a lot of boxes like from orders and stuff that I needed to. Once I felt like I got rid of the boxes <laughs> and like condensed all the stuff that was in the boxes down, I could breathe. Not being organized will affect your creative uh, energy too. I feel like I'm 
like way more uh, creative now. Like, you know, you just clean up a couple of boxes the other day. Now you more creative. Yes, I am. I got more space. I feel to move and groove. Oh, that's a pretty purple. Okay. Same palette. Purple lilac glitter shade up top. I've been using my Swifter. I call it a Swifter. This is a, not a kitchen appliance. Um, what is this thing? Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. Eyeshadow. Something. Yeah. Let's take it and see. In this little pop. Yep. So this is the same shade as the base. So that's one less thing to worry about. To worry about blending real a lot. I love looks, but I don't have to blend like a whole whole lot. Cause I'm lazy like that. <laughs> oh gosh. I remember one time on YouTube when I first started looking at YouTube, like everybody used to do eyeshadow looks. Nobody, it's hard to find eyeshadow looks nowadays. Everybody is into vlogging, going to Pilates, drinking Starbucks coffee, going to get crumble cookies, <laughs> shopping at Zara, <laughs> shopping at Fashion Nova. Everybody wants the soft life. And I was talking to my friend. I'm like, what is the soft life? They just come up with all kind of stuff nowadays. I'm like, what is the soft life? You better get out there and get it. How much you want to live a soft life? Oh, two eyeshadow look, and we're done. Ain't no stopping me now. You better go to work. Ain't no stopping you now. Yeah. I don't know what the soft life is, y'all. Drop down, let me know what you think. What you think the soft life is. Is it less work? Or to look like you're living a certain type of way? Like, to me, when they say soft life, I just think they're in a certain tax bracket. Is that it? Mm. I don't know if I gotta go to work every day. One day, I'll work for myself. I'm putting that in the atmosphere. I'm putting that in the universe. Lord's will point me in the right direction of working for myself to hire myself it's nothing like i'm gonna use my nyx vivid matte and black nothing like working for yourself you'll never get rich wealthy working for somebody else it's okay right now because you need the benefits you need the income you know but if you're trying to be rich, wealthy, retire without having to worry about anything, being able to travel when you want to travel, not having to plan it three years in advance, then you got to work for yourself. You got to see 100% of the profit. I don't think I was ever one. How did this shop my stash turn into be talking? To say that I'm with this company and I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna retire from here. Like, I don't think I've ever said that in my head. Like, I don't know if I'm not that age when I'm thinking about retirement. You know what I mean? Or 
I just never, it never dawned on me that I could be at this place for 20, 30 plus years. That's a lot of yourself that you're giving someone else. That's like your second home, your second everything, your job, it, that would be like your second. And why not let it be something, lawn, calm, mascara, why not let it be something that you love or you created yourself or you don't like your own business? And it's hard to do a business, trust me, because I know even starting YouTube was a challenge for me, but it's yours. And anything you love hard, you're going to work hard at it. You'll get it. It'll come. First year business might not be good. Second year might not be so great. But have faith. Keep trying. Because when you blow, you're going to blow. Is my microphone on? Yeah, it's on. Ain't no stopping me now. Let me get a foundation brush. I'm playing with y'all and I gotta go to work. I gotta get a foundation brush. Where did I put them at? Hold on. I'm going to link this foundation brush, which I get from Shein in the description box below. I already always have the brush I always get from Timo, I think it is. But I'm going to make sure to link this one. I think it's like a dollar and 34 cent. Pick this up if you like lightweight, dense, but not heavy brushes. Love it. Okay. For foundation, I'm going to use my House Labs foundation in 450. 450 medium deep warm. And I'm going to mix it with a drop of my um, Pro Pigment in yellow. Never mixed it before. Tried this foundation before. Videos be linked in the bottom. I hope y'all be checking out my videos that I be linking down there because I be working hard for y'all. So let's do four small pumps. Looks like this. This shade is okay. It was way better than the shade I initially picked up in the beginning. So it's okay. But as click when I was cleaning up my stash, I'm like, girl, when the last time you had this foundation on? And I haven't. Only because it probably because it was a lost. My stuff always get lost. We'll do one side so we can see if I made a mess or not. Let's do one style. Well, hopefully we could. This is a real this is a really pretty foundation. You ever seen a foundation that just was pretty? <laughs> pretty on the skin, pretty bottle, pretty everything. It scares you at first because as you can see, I'm a little bit illuminated, but not, and I'm an oily girl, oily combo girl, not in a bad way. I'm not too illuminated to the point where I feel like my face is sliding everywhere. So foundation side, no foundation side. I think we did okay. I think the yellow didn't match anything up so we're okay
Yeah, I think that shade is okay. I don't need no more. And very little. Goes a long way. For concealer, I think I got primer. I got all kinds of stuff in here. I told y'all I was shopping. I was shopping. I was shopping. I was shopping. I was shopping, I was shopping. I'm gonna use this uh, ColourPop Champs eyeliner, and it's a purple shade. That's what I'm gonna use in my waterline today. I had to use it before I forget. It's a gel eyeliner. It's so smooth. Color pop is the truth. They don't be playing with y'all. And they come out with a new release every 24 hours. <laughs> every 24 hours. For concealer, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution in 11.2. Conceal and Define, they don't sell this one no more. On a website I found it and it was on sale. Because in Ulta, they don't sell it no more. They sell that new one. The, something. What's it called? What's it called? Foundation. It'll come to me in a minute. Hold on, y'all. I can see the bottle in my head and everything, but no. Oh. I'm gonna tell you my mind be going blank. I can see the bottle and everything, and I got the foundation. Here's the foundation. This is gonna bother me. Oh. In real life concealer. And no new contour, just my thread beauty that I'm almost out of. And I'm gonna cry when I finish, even though I said I was gonna use something else. I don't know how that go. Let's get to blending out. I had to wet my sponge. Let's blend this out. Get kind of pale. Need some color. I look pale, y'all. <laughs> Why is it just me? Mm, some color. I fell in love with this concealer maybe six or seven months ago. I found it in my stash. Then when I went to buy it, like I said, at Ulta, Ulta didn't sell it anymore. I'm like, oh man. And one day I happened to be on Makeup Revolution site and they had it on sale, which let me know that, you know, they were discontinuing it for the in real life concealer. But the in real life concealer doesn't have a yellow or golden color. All their colors to me are neutral.
<laughs> I am bright. I am bright. And out the edges. And for powder, I'm gonna use my, this is Kat Von D Locket Powder. When it was Kat Von D, that's how long I had it. Found it again in my stash. This is a really good setting powder. Translucent. It sets beautifully. I decided to go with a translucent today because I'm already bright enough. Make sure I get the front of my eyebrows just a little bit for the powder so they don't get extremely oily. And by my nose, those are the areas that I get a little oily throughout the day. Nothing major. I don't think I get as oily as I used to in my younger years, but I still get oily, which I prefer to be oily than dry. I'm going to take my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Coffee. Hi, I thought I was going to use my Juvia's, huh? Not today. I'm going to take this. That's what we're going to bronze with today. Yeah, I just knew I was gonna pull out that Julius. Black Radiance was the first like contour powder, I guess I could say that I had in that little trio thing. I probably got it around here somewhere too. Let that sit for a minute. While we're waiting on lashes, my Makeup Forever powder, Y505. I know I have a purple blush from About Face. I just don't know where it is. I have no idea. I do have, where's my baggie? This one size blush in Rich B. And we'll just like this. I'm gonna take the middle shade. That's what we use for a blush today. Kind of like a terracotta. It's it's uh, it's pigmented. <laughs> I was about to say strong. You only need a little bit. I forgot how pigmented um, one size blush is. Only me. Only I would try to use a purple blush. Where's my tweezers? There they go. These are the lashes I'm using. Some lashes I got from Timu. They're kind of short in the inside and they dimmy out on the outside. So let's try these today. First time trying these. I had someone also mention in the comments like, 
one day I had on some lashes and they were like oh those look way better than the other ones that you you know that you wear but the way they said it and I tell you when you put your stuff out here on YouTube like I understand that you want people's opinion and you value some people's opinion or suggestions because you don't realize how much you guys help me with makeup or buying makeup or even application tips and I'm the one doing YouTube but my buddies here you know help me along the way and um what was I saying yeah it's not what you say it's how you say it and the intent behind it like I've had several people you know tell me about when I wear lashes like what lashes they like and what lashes you know they really like and don't like but I, I can tell that it's coming from a genuine place it's no hard feelings it's just their observation but then some people are like I won't say cruel about it but you know you were trying to make a like slick comment you know what I mean like you were trying to you know be me without being me maybe I don't know it's the Aquarius in me but I would never get on anyone's video and tell them, I like this on you, but not this. Like, I'll never make a comment like that. Because I just feel like people like what they like. Now, if you say, oh, those look nice. I enjoy the ones you usually wear, but those look nicer or those bring out. I had one of my buddies here tell me that those bring out, you know, your eye shape or you can see more of your eye. And I get that part. But when you just flat out say, but those look way better than the other ones come on now. and you know what that does <laughs> when someone tells me that what do I do drop down and let me know what you think I do I'm at like I'm live I'm not live <laughs> I do it make me wear them even more <laughs> the ones you don't like <laughs> I put them on it even more. That's just me. Cause I just feel like it's you, it's makeup. Like if you like it, by all means, or rock it out. Rock it out, have fun. If you love how you do your makeup in the morning, and it's like, oh, I did my thing with this. You know, then go ahead and wear it. I don't care. It's in your face your vibe your originality I was always taught at a very very young young age to never inspire 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 to be like anyone else to always be yourself individuality to like what you like no matter what anyone says like what you like and like and wear it proudly and do it proudly and all that good stuff yeah my mom would have a fit if I wanted something and I'd be like oh cause such and such got it I want it that was the wrong way to get it that wasn't gonna be the way that I was gonna get it I would have to have I want it that's it not I want it because such and such had it. Uh -uh. For a lip liner, I'm going to use my Danessa Myrick Color Fix Matte Chocolate for my lip liner today. Love the way this did the other day. It didn't move for like six hours. I was eating, drinking, eating, drinking, <laughs> eating, drinking. <laughs> I'm a foodie, y'all. I love food. I love to try new food. Yeah. Yeah. Probably why I'm all broke out now. I love to try new food. While I'm still trying to lose weight. My thing is sweet. And that, like, cake and cookies. Yeah, cake and cookies, yes. Not necessarily candy. I'm not a candy person. But, 
I'm the type of person because I know this. But, uh, I used to cook rice every day. Every day. I used to have to have something with rice. And I haven't cooked rice in like two months now. So I'm the type of person like if I can do it for at least two maybe three weeks and then it's over for me like it's done but I just the hardest part is getting past the two to three weeks so if I can do it for that long then I'm done with it that's how I was with the milk because I was having a problem with the milk and then I was like okay well and I used to drink milk like every day two three times a day just milk and I gave it a week no milk gave it two weeks no milk three weeks no milk and now it's been three months so yeah and for lipstick, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Old Face Satin Lipstick in Hustle. Never used this, only to do the swatch video. And found it in my stash. I'm sorry, <laughs> one of my buddies here like, no, every haul you always buy lipstick. I love that you buy lipstick and you never use it in any of your videos. <laughs> you always use the same thing. I know. Thank you. <laughs> but see, friend, I'm using one now, so yeah. I don't even go with this look, but it's nude, so it should. Okay, yeah. it's pretty. I know I'm scared to look up. Because if I look up, mm. <laughs> I'm blend it out. <laughs> yeah, calm it down. Ready for work. Okay, guys, we made it to the end shopping my stash using some new, some old products. I think the purple eyeshadow look came out fabulous. Fabulous. It's not very detailed, not very much. Where's my. I don't tell them where it's at, not the brush. Oh, here it is. But nonetheless, I feel like that e.l.f. base made it pop so good for the eyeshadow no budge eyeshadow oh it made it pop so well i'm just blending out the edges tying up any loose ends <laughs> the foundation i already have a video on that but mixed with my yellow pigment we got a plus. That yellow pigment is like magic in a bottle. If you don't have it or never tried it and you have a lot of red foundations that you're trying to put some yellow in, go ahead and give it a try. You won't be disappointed. The lip. Y'all probably said, Nana, please stop giving us a thumbs up. I'm sorry, y'all. I was looking for some lip gloss. Do I need to leave it mad? I need a little gloss. But a little bit of supplies left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is y'all. This is the final look. Drop down and let me know if you shopped your stash lately. If you have, what items have you fell back in love with? You know, I love talking to you guys. As you can see, today's video was just a little chit chat here and there. I need to do more videos so y'all can get to know my personality more, even though it's crazy. Like, I know, I know. I know my Aquarius self is crazy. So, 
Yeah, y'all are probably say this girl right here crazy. <laughs> Make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.